Problem Solving Addition Word Problems, Lesson 8.8. .8. Drawing a picture can help us explain how to solve an addition problem. A picture can show us what we need to do and what we need to find. Lisa has four new shirts. She already has 12 shirts. How many does she have now? What do we need to find? We need to find how many shirts she has total in all, right? What information will we use? That she has four shirts plus 12 shirts. We can make counters for the four new shirts and we can add it to the 12 shirts she already had. Four plus 12 is equal to 16 shirts. That's how many shirts Lisa has now. We can draw and write to solve. We can explain our reasoning. Tala picked 40 cherries. Then she picked 15 more. How many cherries did she pick? So we can make four tens for the 40 cherries she picked. We can make a 10 and a 5 for the 15 more that she picked, and we can add them together. The ones place has a 5, and the tens place has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 tens. That's 55 cherries. Our reasoning is the clue word more told us to add. She picked 40 cherries, then she picked 15 more. That told us to add. Emma collects 24 shells. Tim collects 35 shells. How many shells do they collect in all? Our reasoning to solve this is the clue words in all right here. They told us to add. We add the 24 that Emma collected, the 35 that Tim collected, five ones and four ones makes nine ones, two tens and three tens makes five tens, that's 59. There's 59 shells in all that they collected. The clue word was in all. It told us to add. It takes Bob 20 steps to walk to the kitchen from his room. How many steps does it take to walk to the kitchen and back to his room? We can draw a picture. We can draw Bob's room and we can draw the kitchen and we can draw that it takes 20 steps to get to the kitchen. It's asking us how many steps it would take to walk to the kitchen and back to his room. That tells us we need to add 20 steps and 20 steps. It's the same distance to the kitchen as it is back to his room. We can add 20 plus 20. We're adding two tens plus two tens. That makes four tens and zero ones. It's 40 steps. Walk to the kitchen and back are clue words to add 20 plus 20. I've got a couple more. Dave sells three boxes of candy bars. Each box holds 12 candy bars. So how many candy bars did Dave sell? We can make three boxes and put a 12 inside of each one. He sold three boxes of candy bars and there's 12 in each box. That means we need to add 12 plus 12 plus 12. We can add the twos that are in the ones place, two plus two plus two. That's two plus two is four, five, six. So we have six ones and we need to add the tens place. One plus one plus one is equal to three, three tens. That means he sold 36 candy bars. Drawing the boxes of 12 helped us. There are big and small pumpkins. There are 11 big pumpkins. There are five more small pumpkins than big pumpkins. How many are there in all? We know there are 11 big pumpkins. How many small ones are there? There's five more than 11. There's five more than the big ones. 
And the big ones have 11, so it's 5 more than 11. 5 more than 11 is 5 plus 11. We add the 1s. 5 plus 1 is equal to 6. We bring this 110 down. It's 16 small. It wants to know how many there are in all. We need to add the 11 big ones and the 16 small ones. 11 plus 16. We add the numbers in the ones place, the 1 and the 6. That makes 7 ones. We add the numbers in the tens place. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. That means there's 27 pumpkins in all. So do you see how I did that? It said there are five more small ones than big ones. So we had to look at the number of big ones and add five more to it to find how many small ones there were. Then we added the amount of small ones to the 11 big ones. Lisa sees 36 purple flowers. She sees 17 pink flowers. How many flowers does she see? It says to circle the number that makes the sentence true. Does she see 43, 47, or 53 flowers in all? We need to add 36 plus 17. We can add 36 as 3 tens and 6 ones to 17, which is 1 ten and 7 ones. We add the numbers in the ones place. 6 plus 7 is equal to 13. We add the tens. 3 plus 1 is 4. We have 4 tens and 13 ones. That means we have 40 plus 13. That's equal to 53. She saw 53 flowers. So we know to circle the 53. That is the number that will make this sentence true. We just add the tens and ones and put them together. So there's many addition clue words. There's words like some, total, and, more, in all, join, both, plus, together, add, and all together. And there's even more clue words, but those are the ones you'll probably see the most. Our next lesson is related addition and subtraction for two-digit numbers. That's lesson 8.9. We only have a couple more lessons to go, and we're finished with Chapter 8, and we're going to learn about measurement in Chapter 9. That's coming up very soon. I hope you're having a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.